I'm Madison Itas and you're on Native Ground. We're here at Sundance 2013 at the world premiere of A Teacher. Okay, uh, my name is Hannah Fidel and I wrote and directed the film. For this film, what gave you the inspiration to start this script? I started writing it maybe five months before we began shooting, which is pretty quick. And the inspiration was, I was working at a restaurant in Texas and I saw a boy walk in who's a little bit younger, probably still in high school. And this film is kind of my way of exploring without uh, crossing any real line. <laughs> what would you like your audience to kind of take away from it? It's okay to, not that it's okay to make mistakes, but that it's, people make mistakes. And yeah. In writing this film and doing your research, did you find that this uh, theme of teacher-student relationship, did you find that that's more relevant to our society now? Do you think it happens more often than the media says? I'm sure it happens more than the media says. Uh, and I mean, it's just pick up the newspaper every other week and you'll read a new story about it. So. And as far as casting goes, um, how what's what's the process that you went through writing this such short notice and everything in five months and everything? What did you go through to do that? I uh, I told uh, Lindsay Birch, who plays the role of Diana, about the film and and the story behind it, and uh, she really liked it. So she said I wasn't allowed to cast anyone else, so I didn't. <laughs> And thank God I didn't, because she really did an amazing job. My name is Lindsay Burge, and I play Diana Watts in the movie, uh, The Teacher. And I'm from, I'm originally from Pasadena, California, but I live in Brooklyn now. What, what made you want to do this film so bad? I really just thought it was a really interesting idea, and I thought it would be, I, I was really interested in the idea of putting myself in the shoes of somebody who's in this situation and really trying to humanize them, to understand where they would be coming where from, because... Here? I feel like often with these sorts of situations That's we cool. get this like crazy media explosion right. idea of what's happening and and maybe we we forget that it's a person as well even the person maybe who's uh, the criminal you know and uh, so it was interesting to me to consider what would what would lead one to be in that situation um, and what it would feel like to be suffering from the stress of that and the and the guilt and the shame and and having a, such a huge secret like that uh, just seemed really interesting to me. What are your past uh, films that you've been in? Anything that we might have heard of? Um, I was in a film called First Winter, which I acted in and also produced, and that premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival in 2012. Uh, and it should be coming out right about now on iTunes and on demand and all that sort of stuff, so you should look out for it. <laughs> was this always kind of filmmaking and acting? Was this always a passion of yours? No, I've, always, I've been acting since I was a little kid, and I grew up doing theater, and I, I love plays, I love being part of collaborations like that. And, and then I went to college and I studied theater at NYU and um, and then after school I, I decided at that point that I wanted to do film instead because I love watching film so it seemed to make sense. And uh, then after school I got into production as well so I did that for a while and then more recently I've been picking up the acting again, uh, just opening myself up to that a bit more and it's been coming so it's great. I'm uh, Will Britton, I played Eric Toll um, and I'm from Austin, Texas. How'd you get into just filmmaking? Uh, well, I'm studying acting at UT, so I got the audition, and um, I'm in an audition for it, and I uh, got the role. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what do you hope that comes across in this role that you really wanted to bring to your character? Uh, I really wanted to bring to my character, I think, um, that, like, he, there was more to him than just, like, more to the relationship than just, like, lust. Um, I think there's, there's like a deeper need for that, and I'm not sure if that's totally obvious for the film, but it totally helped me as an actor, you know, come into the, into the film and find a motivation and stuff like that. So if the audience picks that up, great. If not, that's okay, you know. What kind of uh, message do you hope that this film maybe sends to people? You know, I don't know. It's kind of a weird message uh, because on the one hand, this is like a bad thing and you don't want this to necessarily happen, but at the same time, um, I think with their relationship is a little bit different because the age isn't so huge and the fact that he's about to graduate. So I guess the message that, that these people are normal um, to an extent, that, that they just made maybe some bad choices. Hey, I'm Will Britton and I'm on Native Ground. You're the producer of this film. What made you want to get into this? Um, I'm really drawn to projects as a producer that have strong female uh, protagonists and Hannah wrote a really beautiful character in Diana Watt and I, I was excited to work with Lindsay Burge uh, who had, I'd heard amazing things about and um, she really 
brought that character to life. It was an amazing collaboration to see. Um, any other projects that are in the works right now that you're wanting to be a part of as well? I, I'm working with Sophia Tikal, another really outspoken, independent female filmmaker um, and writer. Uh, and I'm producing her next feature as well. I'm really excited about that one coming up this year. How did you get into producing movies? I studied film and um, I, it just kind of became this natural course. Um, as projects went along, I kind of filled whatever role needed to, to happen on set. Um, started with writing and directing and I produced a feature called A Horrible Way to Die. Friends who brought it to Missouri, my home state, and uh, needed help producing. And it kind of just went from there. I found that I was good at it, I liked doing it, and um, I was being asked to work on really exciting projects with a really independent voice. So are you a veteran of the Sundance Film Festival? Uh, I'm actually a fellow. Um, I was a part of the Creative Producing Labs in 2011, and then I was here last year as a segment producer with a film called VHS that premiered as part of the Midnight section. Awesome. Are there any specific films that you're really excited to see? Yeah, uh, fellows, uh, my fellow fellows, uh, Toby Halbrooks and uh, James Johnson produced a film called In the Body Saints by David Lowry. I'm excited to see that, very excited. And um, Calvin Lee Reader's The Rambler, which is also a part of the, the Midnight section this year. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. My name is Kim Sherman, and I'm on Native Ground. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. I understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they have